GPL is a burning issue for all Guyanese, including myself. We all grew up, we all suffered from blackouts. And if there's one thing I want to tell you, and I want to promise you, is that this PVPC government, the government that was sworn in on the 2nd of August, from day one, we start working towards ending blackout in Guyana and uh, returning the country to reliable electricity. In terms of the immediate measures, as I announced after visiting GPL, we want to buy um, power that is available locally to supplement what is produced by GPL. That, in the shortest term, will help us to have you know reserve power to minimize blackout. We're in the process of doing that. There's one contractor that we almost finished connecting to the to the grid, and I know that we're looking at um, other means of um, increasing the power available to, to GPL between now and, and Christmas. In the short term, over the next um, two to I said two to four years, what we intend to do is to bring the gas to shore. We want to have a facility that between now and 2024, or before 2024, have the facility that can produce 200 megawatts of power. Because we believe that if we can produce 200 megawatts of power from the gas to shore project, that, along with what we have available through GPL, will satisfy not only the domestic, but the commercial and industrial needs of Guyana. We have to look at off-the-grid supply of electricity. Because what we've been talking about is really the Demerara Barbies interconnected system, where we have GPL supplying power and the, the, the projects that I outlined, the gas to shore. But then we have to look at the off-the-grid um, demands for electricity, you know, in the hinterland, in the other towns and villages. And as part of the energy mix, we're also pursuing solar energy, wind energy, and hydro um, power, energy from hydropower. So Amelia Falls is back with us as a project in the medium to long term. Of course, we have to go through the whole cycle of um, looking back at the studies and um, trying to garner funding for that project. So that will take some time, maybe six to 10 years before you have a meal falls. However, at present, we have um, solar farms and a couple number of those solar farms will come on stream. For example, Mabaruma. In a matter of months, Mabaruma will come on stream. We have mini hydros that we plan for different parts of the interior. You've probably heard about Kumu, right? Kumu Falls in Region 9, right? There's a lot of um, work, exploratory work being done in those areas. We have Kato. The project has started at Kato already. See, within the next five years, too, we'll have a lot of power being produced in Guyana, especially off the grid in the hinterland and a smaller towns area through renewable energy.